Oh, what up, Minecraft? Tyler here, and today I've got another texture pack for you guys. Today we're going to be looking at Lego Pack, and uh, the download for this texture pack will be in the description below. So as you can see by the very colorful buttons, <laughs> this is going to be a, uh, a Lego texture pack, and it works with Minecraft 1.3.1. <laughs> so let's uh, let's just hop on in. Tyler's Texture Test World. So here we are. Pretty cool, huh? It's like having one of those infinitely long... Yeah, one of those, because I have so many infinitely long things. Ha ha ha. Okay. Um, no, but it's like having one of those, you know, those uh, long, flat pieces of Lego to, like, put everything on. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Definitely like that idea. And I mean, honestly, to be honest, this, this texture pack is the most suited to Minecraft out of all the other texture packs I've seen, because that's basically what Minecraft is. Minecraft is basically virtual Lego. You have infinite bricks, and you can put them wherever you want and build whatever you want, except you don't have to cut your feet open stepping on little pieces when you don't pick it up properly. <laughs> anyway, let's let's do this thing. So dirt, dirt blocks above ground, glass. We have the torches that are pretty crazy because, like, more than half the thing is fire. <laughs> the doors look pretty much like the old Lego doors. Here's a chest. It's got the little bumps on the top. That's what the inside looks like. We've got a bed right there. Doesn't look too comfy. We have a furnace right here. The crafting table is here. I don't think I've ever seen anything like like this one in Lego before. I've seen that thing, though. That thing looks like something in a Star Wars thing. Or no, it's that thing that like opens up like an oven. Okay, that's cool. I remember that. Here we have cobble. Here we have stone. Together they make cobblestone. Um, here we've got more dirt. Red brick. That looks really, really ugly. <laughs> like a square volt orb or something. Here we have uh, a tree with some leaves elegantly placed. We have wooden planks, other wooden planks, other other uh, other other wooden planks, other 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 wooden planks. We have tree bark right here. We have birch tree bark right here. Ugly tree bark right here, and stone bricks. A little bit off color. That's how you can tell. Mossy stone bricks. A green one in the upper right corner all day, and clay with one little nip. <laughs> So here we have diamond ore, gold ore, iron ore, coal, lapis lazuli, and redstone. That's pretty obvious. They, the colors make it pretty obvious what, what is what. Uh, diamond blocks. We have iron blocks. look a lot like snow, but that's okay, I guess. We have gold blocks here, and this is what bedrock looks like. This is lapis lazuli. We have some mossy cobblestone. Definitely looking very mossy. We have stone slabs. And sandstone slabs. And wooden slabs. Right here we have cobblestone slabs. And ugly brick slabs. <laughs> I don't know why the brick is so ugly in this texture pack. We have obsidian right here. Nice deep purple. Uh, we got stone brick slabs here. Some netherrack, nice burgundy color. And <laughs> got soul sand. We have the ugliest glowstone known to mankind. That is so ugly, I don't even know what to say. We have sand right here. We have, although actually that doesn't make sense, because if sand falls, then why would you be able to put something on the side of it, right? Like, why are there, why are there the little bumps on the sides? Whatever, being nitpicky. There's solid sandstone, they put the bumps on the top. Weird sandstones, same deal. Really weird looking cobwebs, don't think Lego ever had cobwebs. And if they did, it wouldn't be that ugly. No, I'm joking, it's pretty nice. Um, gravel, my favorite block in this texture pack because it's multicolored. This is like a jungle tree. This is a birch bark tree. And uh, here we have some vines climbing up. The vines, I don't remember if there were vines. I don't think there were in Lego. That's pretty hard to do. If there were, if there were 
And please leave a comment, because I don't think there were. But I'd like to know if there were. Where, where, where? They used to be saplings, though. So here's some SpongeBob, sponge. Some snow. Looks more like iron to me. Maybe they got them mixed up. Maybe I got them mixed up. Here's some some ice. Don't break it. Those bad things will happen. You have red flat. Oh, it's like the little red flowers that were always like at the bottom of the bucket, and you're like looking for that one piece, and you can't find it. And you find like millions of flowers, and you're like, oh, flowers are stupid. That's cool. Mushrooms are f squished, flat. You have some mycelium and some grass. I don't know where that came from. Mycelium. We have cactus, cacti, that don't look too threatening. Actually, I think there's some extra texture in there that shouldn't be there. <laughs> but whatever. It's all, good. it's all good. We have some pinstripe watermelon looking pretty sharp. Pinstripe pumpkins, too. We have uh, some jack-o'-lanterns right here. Some more vines. Uh, I think this is just iron blocks or something. So here's the uh, the grills, my grills, up of my grills. We have uh, window panes right here, panes of glass. Oh, they should have used clear blocks for windows. That's what I always used when I was a kid. Nether brick. Nether brick fence. Nether brick steps. And some end stones. It didn't change the end stones. That's okay. Looks fine. We have some nether brick steps. We have some lava fall. Lava. So that's what the lava looks like. It'd be nice if it like pulsated colors, but it looks pretty good. It doesn't look like it's flowing though, that's my my only issue. Same thing with the water. It doesn't look like there's any current or anything. And it's got what the heck? It has the bumps on the surface. That's weird. It's like it's like you can put blocks on top of the water, but you can't. Hmm. Boat and lily pad. Books don't have bumps on them either. That's unfortunate, but they are very colorful, and I like colorful books. You know, a book just isn't a book without some color. TNT. <laughs> couldn't couldn't mistake that for anything. You have grass right here, really short grass, which is nice because the 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 stand the standby the OG grass in Minecraft is pretty pretty darn tall. You can't you can't just like bring a lawnmower over it or something, which is unfortunate. That'd be cool. We have some saplings right there, some pine tree saplings or something. Dispensers, <laughs> dispenser guy looks like he's freaked out. He's like, oh, <laughs> got every color of the rainbow in wool. Little little suction cups or whatever you want to call that thing. We have note blocks and a juke box. We have the sticky piston and the regular piston. The only difference being one green nip. <laughs> and we have a wooden fence here with a fence door. We have the ladders. I like the ladders. They're pretty cool. We have a unpowered power rail. A normal rail. A redstone powered rail that is powered with a redstone torch. We have a minecart. Don't remember there being minecarts in regular Lego, but they seem to have adapted it pretty well. There's a sensor rail right here. Behind us we have stone stairs looking a lot like wood stairs. I might have messed something up doing that, but that's okay. Um, so here's some stone brick stairs, a little bit off color. That's fine. Cobblestone stairs. Super ugly brick stairs. <laughs> Why would anybody ever use them? We have redstone and redstone switch. So that's what that looks like. We have a nice little button. We have redstone repeater, stone pressure plate, a currently powered redstone glow block. Didn't change anything with those ones. We have wood, a wooden pressure plate. Um, back here we have a chest minecart. <laughs> we have a coal powered minecart. And now we have the mobs. So go ahead and start with the little piggies. The little piggies have a little bump on their head and on their back and on their butts. <laughs> so lots of bumps added to the pigs. Um, 
We've got cows here. Cow, cows got the bumps too. Hopefully there's a cure for that. No, just kid. Then there's uh, chickens. It added the bump to the chicken. It's, it's like he took the regular, the regular texture, just added a bump to it. Yeah, cows again. Wolves don't seem to be changed. At least not that I've noticed so far. The villager is disappointing. I'm not gonna lie. They could have made him like yellow and stuff, like the like the little Lego dudes. That would have been so cool. But instead, he's just a regular villager. And over here we have sheep. We got the bumps. Sheep with the bumps. All right. I'm probably guessing that most of the mobs just have little bumps on them too. But I'm gonna go check it out, and if they're cool, I'll add it in right after this. Otherwise, just gonna end the video. See you guys. All right, guys. So I'm back, and I just thought I'd give you a quick like fly through of the new 1.3.1 creative menu interface thing, and also show you like all the, any of the blocks I might have missed here. But basically, this this texture pack kind of like throws everything off a little bit. It's not supposed to be that. Like, there's no grid supposed to be down here. But basically, you have tabs, right? So building blocks, decoration blocks, redstone, transportation miscellaneous search items um whoa that's a lot of search items oh right <laughs> that's all the items because you're supposed to search for items okay uh foodstuffs tools combat whoa ah oh, yes there you go see that check out the armor that's what they should have done with the villagers man made them like a little lego people okay that's pretty cool um brewing and materials so you can go back and pause the video there if you want to see the little icon for anything. And uh, there's that's, that's what the crafting looks like. See, yeah, look at his little head, yeah. Okay, uh, so now I'll just spawn some mobs. I just loaded a random world, called it Nick is a guy, because <laughs> Nick is a guy. Uh, okay, so here is what a creeper looks like. You see it? Did you see it? Go back and play it in slow-mo, I don't care. <laughs> Here's the next one. A skeleton. Oh, God. Okay, what's happening? Options. That's what's happening. Okay. That's what's happening. So here's a creeper. It looks see his face looks a little bit more like a little Lego dude. That's cool. Alright. He's got the little bump on his head. Here's a skeleton. Turn around skeleton. Oh god, he's burning. Oh god. Let's put him in the shade. Yeah, there you go, see? That's actually really cool. I like the smiley face. Pretty cool stuff. Alright, this is a spider. They just put the bumps on his head, which is, which is kind of what I expected, you know. That looks cool. Here we have a zomboid, zombie, with uh, the little dot on his head. Oh god, he's on fire. Next we have a slime with a little dot on his head, just like everybody else. And we have a zombie pigman with no dot on his head, what? Ah, oh well. Enderman, does he have a dot on his head? He doesn't. Whoa. Wait, you want some? That's what I thought. And last but not least, we have the silverfish, which hasn't been changed at all. So there you go, guys. This has been a texture pack review of Lego Pack. You can find the link for it down in the description. I hope you enjoyed this texture pack review. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more reviews like this one and other hilarious videos. And check out our Twitter and Tumblr if you guys have a lot of free time that you just want to kill. Because <laughs> we're good at killing free time. And, uh, so yeah, see you guys next time.